Here's how you can use standby mode with iOS 17. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and one of the surprisingly big features for iOS 17 is called standby mode. This is basically turning your iPhone into a smart display wherever you have a place, whether it's in your kitchen, your office, or your bedroom. There's a lot of features and a lot of details to dig into, so I'm gonna walk you through everything that you need to know about standby mode. Using standby mode is incredibly easy. There's nothing you need to do to activate it other than connecting your phone to power and setting it down. As long as you have your phone connected to power, whether through a lightning cable or a MagSafe charger, and you set it down horizontally, your iPhone will transform into a smart, customizable display. Personally, I prefer using a MagSafe charger. They're really easy to use because you can just snap your phone on and off without having to plug a cable in. There's a bunch of them out there that act as stands where you can really control the angle of your phone. And another benefit of the MagSafe version is your iPhone will remember each MagSafe charger. And as you switch to different locations, it'll know where they are and can display a different versions of standby mode. So maybe you have a standby mode that you prefer in your bedroom versus the one that you use in the kitchen versus the one you use at your office. Your office one, maybe you wanna show your calendars, everything like that. In the kitchen, in your bedroom, you wanna show your battery life. Uh, in the kitchen, you wanna show your photos. All of that you can customize and every time you move between a MagSafe charger, it'll bring up the correct version of standby mode. When in standby mode, you can swipe up and down to change between the different widgets. The default version of standby mode will show a clock on the left hand side and something like the calendar on the right hand side. But when you swipe up and down, you're able to choose between the different widgets they pre-populated for you. If you tap and hold on either of the two widgets presented, it'll allow you to edit that stack of widgets. You can add a new widget by tapping the plus button in the upper left hand corner, or you can remove any widget by tapping on the minus button. When you do go through, you can change things like having them automatically rotate based on what it thinks that you're going to need, and you can turn on suggested widgets so it'll present widgets for you based on when it thinks you may need them. Right now, only Apple's widgets are supported, though Apple is allowing third-party developers to bring their widgets into this new standby mode. They just have to enable that before iOS 17 is released. So right now, we just have a ton from Apple that you can choose from. There's the App Store, batteries, books, calendar, clock, maps, music, news, notes, photos, and podcasts. Some aren't optimized yet though, things like fitness, game center, and sleep. When they're not optimized, you can still add them, but they're not gonna work quite right and they're not gonna have the cool red effect that I'm gonna talk about in a moment. You aren't stuck with the split view mode though. Apple does present this split view mode as the default option, but by swiping left and right, you can change to other versions of standby mode. So there's the two columns that will show two widgets at once. There's one that shows photos from your galleries and the photos and memories that you've taken. And there's finally one that will show just a larger version of one single clock over the entire screen. The photos one is really cool. There's a bunch of different photos that you can pull in there. So when you tap on the plus button, it'll allow you to add additional albums. So you can swipe up and down from them to choose the different albums once you've selected them and tapping on the screen will allow you to change the photos that are showing. So just a quick tap and you can change from one photo to another. You can also automatically rotate those photos for you. On the last one that shows the full clock, this is also really nice. There's multiple options of this one. So having up and down will let you rotate through those as well. A final trick with these standby mode faces is something that we've seen in other products before, and that's that they can turn red when it's time for bed. So if you have this by your bedside with a MagSafe charger, you turn the lights off in the room, when your phone detects that the lights have turned off, it'll automatically change the entire display to red, reducing any blue light and helping you sleep better. We've seen this in other products. Apple has like the nighttime mode on your Apple Watch Ultra. There's also new cameras like the new Nikon Z8 that I'm actually shooting on right now that has an entire red mode for when you're shooting nighttime like star photography. So it's a really cool effect that's being used by other products and Apple's now bringing it to this essentially nightstand mode. It's different than like the green face that you see on your Apple Watch. This is even better if you use your Apple Watch to sleep and you can't use it for nightstand mode. But there are two more really cool features of nightstand mode. Hey, sorry, I just had to teleport us up to our living room really quick because I just finished unboxing this, my new soundbar. 
This is the Enclave Eclipse soundbar, which is a Dolby Atmos soundbar to enhance your viewing experience, whether you're watching movies, TV, or playing some games. This thing has 11 drivers on the inside, including two dedicated upward facing drivers and two sideways facing drivers for that incredibly immersive experience. And you can't forget about the dedicated wireless eight inch subwoofer. There are all the inputs that you can imagine on this thing. So there is eARC to easily connect this to your TV in 30 seconds, but there's also two HDMI inputs, a stereo input, a USB input, digital optical audio input, coaxial input, or you can stream over Bluetooth if that's more your speed. This thing is great and fully supports Dolby Atmos, so you have that spatial audio effect coming from above, beside, and below you. Let's go ahead and get it installed. I've been listening to everything on this soundbar for the past few weeks, and it sounds incredible. I love how immersive it is, and I love the dedicated voice boost EQ preset. It's so much better to hear the dialogue. If you're looking to upgrade your audio experience on your TV, check out the new Enclave Eclipse 5.1.2 Dolby Atmos enabled soundbar. There's a link for it down below in the description. Now let's get back to our other content. The other two things that standby mode can do is live activities and Siri results. Let's talk about those in a little bit more detail. Whenever you have a live activity going on, it'll now show over the entire full display when in standby mode. So you have your phone there in the kitchen, propped up, you have timers going, you can see them taking over the full screen. It's really lovely. If you have food coming, again, same thing. You're just sitting there, you're waiting, you can see your Uber Eats order being delivered in real time. You can see live sports scores of the ongoing Cleveland Guardians game or whatever game that you're watching. All that can be shown in standby mode and it's really neat. You can also do the same thing with Siri. So whenever you invoke Siri, you ask it a question. Uh, maybe you want to know the weather in Cupertino. Maybe you want to know another fact. You can ask Siri these things and those will be presented on screen. So you can see these really nice full screen Siri results versus the tiny little bubbles or modals that would pop up before. Just a really nice effect and another great use of standby mode, especially when you're at your desk or in the kitchen or these other common spaces where you're going to be looking at this and using it as a smart display versus just your standard iPhone screen. So that's it. That is standby mode coming to your iPhone as part of iOS 17. Apple is expected to release iOS 17 later this fall, and we may see more features coming to standby mode by the time that it releases. Either way, we know third-party apps will be joining standby mode, and I'm excited to start testing those out. Let me know what you think. Are you excited for standby mode? Let me know in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Otherwise, stay tuned. I've got a lot more iOS videos coming your way.